I'd come today to tune an unknown piano. I didn't know what it was. And it's a Stromenger. Never heard of it. Um, it's... Very hard. Horrible sound. Um, we'll see if we can get it back. Ideally, I would like to soften the hammers. And it would sound a good deal better. And so we'll start to tune it and see what it does. Um, it's obviously been neglected for a long time. Um, very dusty inside and utterly filthy. Um, uh, rather old strings. Well, we'll see how it behaves. Because of the signs of these two strings missing from here, I'm very worried about taking this instrument up to pitch. It's at 4.30 at the moment. It should be at 4.40. Uh, I might take it up to 4.32, near to 4.35, but it's not something that I want to do without knowing how it behaves. Now, this is one of these horrible pianos where there's a very sharp angle between the string as it comes through what's known as the agriff and going up here on these felts and uh, on a an instrument that would be well maintained and would be a very valuable instrument I'd use something a, a, a lubricant called Protec but I'm just going to put some ordinary machine oil on here to ease the passage over this bump um, there's a little bit of debate as to where friction is, whether it's at the agref here or whether it's going over the felt. So I'm going to oil both. Hopefully that will solve the problem and we won't have any more broken strings. Um, this is a holiday house piano and it's not a concert pianist's instrument and so I'm not going to take it up to pitch or do anything with it until I really know what's possible. But in essence, it is a better than usual uh, instrument, rather like the Broadwoods, uh, um, which have the bass strings coming over the bridge to here. And that string is the same as the next note from this one. And one can see that the distance between the bridge and the rim is about a hand's distance. And this is what one finds on good baby grand pianos. There are many that bring the bass bridge right the way down here, right near the rim, and the bass sounds horrible. So whilst I might criticise aspects of this instrument, um, it's better than many as a baby grand. Let's see how it behaves. Now this instrument is giving extra challenges and of course it's very difficult for me to play the note and to demonstrate the tuning. Let's see if I can hold that down. But as I go down, you can hear those tings. And that means... that it's sticking. And there's enormous tension therefore between here and there before this string moves and it won't move smoothly it will only go in tings this string might even break let's try it again this is terrifying Now, I'm going to tune this with the meter behind. We can see it over there. It's flat. And the next available pitch is sharp. Well, that's going to be the best I can do. It obviously, within the context of those difficult strings, it's not perfect, but one can now...
now sings. And so it does sing.